At my work we use ADS workgroups for news to edit the news for TV. I thought I'd show you today my process for replacing temporary voiceover, that's the clips in red here on the timeline, with the journalist's voiceover which I've coloured in purple. So the way that I do that, I've spaced out all of the grabs or interview segments here with voiceover in between. So you can see these are grabs. And I would be able to edit the overlay in between on the red temporary voiceover track. Now to replace the red clips or the temporary voiceover, I would have to grab this clip down here, maybe move everything along like this and then replace that clip, move it back and keep going like that all the way along the line. That's quite tedious. So what I would do instead is I'd highlight perhaps track 3 down here which is also a mono track. I would do, I'm using track 3 because often we already have the overlay on top of the uh, on top of the grabs and I don't want to get in the way of track 2 which is our natural sound track or the Natsot track which is labelled here. So I will focus track 3 as you can see here which is control click to turn that on and off and I'll grab my first piece of journalist VO, highlight that and perform a control X or cut and lift and now my playhead is parked down here at the beginning of my voiceover and I'll press control V or paste and it'll paste it into the appropriate place. So then we'll move along to the next clip, select the next bit of VO, control X and paste control V and we keep doing that for the whole lot, control X V. Now because we've done that it's a simple matter of grabbing hold of the segments with the shift and alt key and moving our replacement voiceover up. So highlight this clip, press alt and shift and drag it along and that moves everything on the timeline. If we zoom out I'll show you that. So shift and alt, click and drag and let go of the shift and alt and then you get snapping behaviour back. So it snaps to the end of the voiceover clip and then we can just simply drag that up. So keep doing that all the way along. Move, shift, drag. And there we go, we've completely removed all of those pesky bits of VO. As you can see, this sequence is overlaid and I have space on track three at the bottom to replace the voiceover. But I have this track, I have a temporary clip that needs replacing. So I have the correct clip down here so I've highlighted track 3, I'll focus track 3 and I'll simply select the good voiceover, go Control X to lift and cut, zoom in here and I will press Control V and paste it onto the timeline. Now we can see that it's much longer than the temporary voiceover. You'll notice that I've actually placed all the overlay on track two, video track 2 and that's on track 2 audio and that's so that I don't have to worry about my grabs underneath being the wrong length so you can see now I need to slide the shot back to make room for the VO and I don't have to fiddle around with trimming on my overlay so I can simply remove that and place it up there and that's why we cut our overlay onto track 2 of the video track so that we do not impinge on our grabs or voiceover and we can move things around freely and easily I could move any of these clips to anywhere else on the timeline without having to resort to trimming or changing our grabs.